Hey everybody, your friendly hospitality Glenn Hausman here with the Bruce Ford of Lodging Honda Magix. I want to thank our friends over at Unifocus.com for sponsoring this video. They will make your property more profitable and even more valuable if you try to try to sell it. Check them out, Unifocus.com. Bruce Ford, we're here at the Lodging Conference, of course. It's Phoenix and it's September. It so is. welcome back, Glenn. Yeah, and it's great to see you here. So this is going to be our little wrap-up video for day number one out there. I am seeing so much positive energy out there. Is it palpable to you, and is it real? It's it's palpable, and people are spending again. And I really feel like you know the renovation and conversion pipeline is the thing to talk about these days. Uh, funny you should say that because I talked to uh, a number of people from uh, brands, both on the record and off the record, and. We got new conversion brands. We got brands that hadn't done conversions before going, yeah, we could convert that. Yeah. And all sorts of stuff like that. They got a lot of signings. They got people interested. And, you know, it's it's challenging to finance a new construction project today. And it's challenging to get originated debt today. And we're still figuring that out in the industry. You know, we've been so many years with very, very low rates. Right. And I mean, 2 and 3% to borrow money for hotels. I mean, that was not heard of. Oh, uh, no. And it was for very many years. As a matter of fact, just before we did this interview, I did another one that we talked about that. So check out for that interview in a, in a couple of weeks. But, uh, you know, we heard from The Economist, the this morning all about what it looking like going forward and it looks like the overall American economy is pretty stable because and people are going to keep traveling how do you think that is going to have a material difference in the hospitality industry well one of the things that we're talking a lot about is you know the owners have really been pushing rate mm -hmm. quite a lot it costs more to stay in a hotel these days than it did yeah. at any time Thanks, previously hoteliers. okay <laughs> but it, we're kind of reaching maybe a boiling point on rates they can't really go a lot higher. Mm -hmm. And occupancy is beginning to suffer a little bit for some hotels because yeah. the rate is at the tippity tippity top. And that's because expenses inside the hotel, again, are right. at an right. all time the tippity, high. Tippity tippity top. <laughs> yeah. So we're trying to defer the, the cost of kind of revamping our our whole strategy inside of these hotels. And it's 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 coming at an expense. But I also think that technology is a big part of a way to save money. Mm -hmm. And we talked a lot on our panel today. What, what, uh, Unifocus, go check them out. <laughs> yeah, we talked a lot about in our panel yeah. today about you got to spend money to make money. Right. Okay. And there are times when, you know, you, you get to the end of a project and it's like, oh, that's been value engineered out. We can't do that. Yeah. And, and you know what? It was some of the smarter technology that you were going to put into the building. And sometimes you really have to manage the buzzard from day one to day 180. Yeah. And you still got to have funds at day 179 mm -hmm. to, to, to do the right projects and to be doing the right things in the industry. And so... That was a lot of what we talked about today. Yeah, it sure is. And we're going to keep following this and many other stories. But I think it's good say, to say the state of the hospitality industry is good. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with the big plus sign. <laughs> big plus sign. Big plus sign. All right, Bruce Ford, I'm Glenn Hausman. Thanks to Unifocus.com. We'll see you with another special report here from the Lodging Conference.